Hey, it's Mike with Riding in the Ozarks where we talk riding, rallies, gear, and wrenching. And today's video is the final segment of the amazing DR650 garage find. And we will answer the question, will it run? All right, well, I haven't got to work on this in a couple weeks. The whole COVID-19 thing's kind of had me buried at work and uh, kids out of school stuck at home and they need more attention and all that kind of good jazz. So um, I got in my screws for the carburetor bowl to replace the uh, one I stripped out. So we're going to do that and put this thing back together because I think I've got it cleaned up enough. We just got to put it back together, put gas in the tank, see what happens. Um, we'll work on at least getting it back together tonight. I'll stop and pick up some gas. It's nice and cheap right now, but I still need to go by and get the non-ethanol gas. This is a carbureted motorcycle, and that means I'm not putting anything in it that's got ethanol in it. I'm not sure these screws are going to work. The head's a lot smaller. The bolt's smaller, too. And it's longer. God damn it. Okay, so... Last time we were filming, I had the wrong screws for this carburetor. I believe I have the correct ones now, which are M5, uh, 14 millimeter. That's what I bought 10 of, and I bought socket headed ones instead of the Phillips screw ones. To put back in here. Come in a pack of 10, so we'll see if these are the right thing now. So, I cleaned this carburetor a couple weeks ago and I've been waiting on these screws to start to put it back together. Let's see if we can put this thing back together and uh, put some gas in it and see what happens. So maybe like get it in the air box. And then, Bring it up into the intake. We interrupt this regularly scheduled YouTube video to ask you a question. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know if you think I should buy a dual sport bike as a second bike. And if I buy this DR650, what do you think it's worth? Let me know. Thanks, and now back to your regularly scheduled broadcast. charge the next day it still wouldn't start on its own so I decided it was probably time to go ahead and pull the air box so that I can get some starting fluid 
into the back of the carburetor and see if we can get this thing to hit and fire up. See if we prime it with some starting fluid, what we'll get. Hopefully not a fire. gas in it, put it all back together, take it for a test spin. Hey, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Go ahead and check out some of the other videos on my channel. And if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe down below, hit that bell to be notified. And as always, thanks for your support. Be safe and keep on riding.